In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Pius of Petrelcina, the famous and the miraculous saint, St. Padre Pio. Let us continue to ask his intercession, especially for healing of the world and, of course, for healing for our infirmities. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest, St. Pius, a share in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry, renewed the wonders of your mercy. Grant that through his intercession, we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ, and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Refuse no one the good on which he has a claim, when it is in your power to do it for him. Say not to your neighbor, go and come again tomorrow. Tomorrow I will give, when you can give it at once. Plot no evil against your neighbor, against one who lives at peace with you. Quarrel not with a man without cause, with one who has done you no harm. Envy not the lawless man, and choose none of his ways. To the Lord, the perverse one is an abomination, but with the upright is his friendship. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, but the dwelling of the just he blesses. When dealing with the arrogant, 
he is stern, but to the humble, he shows kindness. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, Lord. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the, rep the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. Who lends not his money at usury, and accepts no bribe against the innocent, he who does these things shall never be disturbed. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. For there is nothing hidden that will not be or will not become visible, and nothing secret that will not be known and come to light. Take care then how you hear. To anyone who has, more will be given. And from the one who has not, even what he seems to have will be taken away. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. And of course, for those whose patron saint is uh, Saint Padre Pio or Saint Pius of Petrelcina, Happy Peace Day po. No? Sapagkat every September 23, we celebrate the memorial of the peace of this uh, miraculous saint, Saint Padre Pio. My dear brothers and sisters, reflecting on our readings today, particularly the saint that we honor today, if you notice that every Sunday, when we profess as or, or we recite the Nicene Creed, Jesus, so in the Nicene Creed, we possess as God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Calls us to share the light we have received through the grace of baptism to all 
people. Indeed, as St. Paul reminds us, for you are all children of light and children of the day. We are not the night or of darkness. We are children of light. Is the fire in us still burning enough to reach those around us? Or has it been concealed or hidden and lost its flame? The good example, my dear brothers and sisters, is the saint that we honor today, Saint Padre Pio. Did you know that at the beginning of the manifestation of his gift and charism to heal. And we know him that he is a stigmata. There were some who wanted to prevent him from doing such ministry. Marami pong mga pagkakataon hindi siya pinagmimisa dahil mahaba. May mga pagkakataon pinagdudahan din ng kanyang panggagamot. May mga pagkakataon din pong may mga taong hindi pinapunta at pinalapit sa kanya for confession. We don't know the reason behind, but when St. Padre Pio discovered his true light, he continued his mission of bringing people closer to God by bringing people to repent and allow himself to be used by God to be instrument of his healing. He did not conceal, he did not hide, but continue to share the light of healing and repentance to those people he served. My dear brothers and sisters, we are children of the light of the world. We must continue to search and find our own light so that we may share that light and bring to people who is in darkness trying to find God in their lives. We may not like St. Padre Pio, but let us never underestimate our simple gestures, our words of encouragement, or even our mere presence to others. We will never know how many hearts would be ignited because of the light from Jesus that we shared to them. Here goes our challenge for today. Find our light. Share the light. Please stand. Let us pray to God the Father that the light of His Son Jesus Christ may bring hope and salvation to all. May our lives glorify You, O Lord. May our lives glorify You, O Lord. That the people of God may be like a great light shining in the darkness by their efforts in building a better world. Let us pray to the Lord. May our lives glorify you, O Lord. That leaders of nations may bring rays of hope to those who suffer by giving justice to the oppressed and dignity to every human person. Let us pray to the Lord. May our lives glorify you, O Lord. That parents may be like light 
on a mountain top, guiding their children to God's love by their way of life. Let us pray to the Lord. May our lives glorify you, O Lord, that the sick, the depressed, and the heartbroken may discover the light of Christ in their suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. May our lives glorify you, O Lord, that the faithful departed may receive perpetual light, happiness, and eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. May our lives glorify you, O Lord. God our Father, give us new awareness and strength to be committed to the service of others and be a lamp shining on them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. <coughs> Pray, pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We humbly implore your Majesty, Almighty God, that just as the offerings made in honor of blessed Saint Pius of Petralcina, bear witness to the glory of divine power so they may impart to us the effects of your salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Pius of Petrachina, you bid your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end. We acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
He took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Padre Pio, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Saint Pius of Petrelcina, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Be not.